Hello there. Welcome to Avalon Cottage. I'm Lily. I kind of assume that you've been here before because you probably won't be watching this video if you haven't. <laughs> to catch you all up a little bit on what's been going on i haven't been doing personal videos very often but that's because due to a lot of stuff going on at work and my family and um as you can tell i am a little snotty still so yeah we're going through all that but um i'm <laughs> you see behind me i've got my computer case and a box of stuff from work um working from home right now so it has been a little tough around here and so last weekend we decided to just kind of get away and go to north alabama to the florence tuscumbia and muscle shoals area so this is gonna be a quick little tour of some of the things that we saw the first thing that we did was go to the belmont mansion <laughs> uh, i guess i can turn my wipers off now okay i think that's it straight ahead of Tuscumbia. A lot of people say it's haunted. I thought it was completely charming and if you want to see a whole video on that then I will make one. I might even throw in some ghost stories. Um, but it was it was great. It's a great tour. Julie did our tour and I'm telling you if you love history ask for Julie. As a matter of fact after we got done she recommended a great restaurant in Tuscumbia called Superhero Chefs. Now, my understanding is that um, one of the guys that started this restaurant was actually on a cooking show, and you can look that up. And um, so, it, it's a really cool restaurant, a cool theme, but mostly the menu. Oh my gosh, it's crazy good. So, we started out with something recommended to us. It's called Bang Bang Cauliflower. Now, we have a Cajun restaurant here in my town that does bang bang shrimp, and it is a little sweet and spicy, and it's awesome. So, I thought, I don't know about cauliflower, but he said, he kept telling us, like, this is what everybody orders. Okay, so that was an appetizer. Take a look at this. It's turned cold. So there was music playing very loudly in the background and I didn't mind it, but I don't want to get any kind of strike against this video for music. And here it comes, our bang bang cauliflower. Y'all, you won't even miss the meat in this. It is so good. This is seriously so good. 
I need to memorialize it. Yeah. There is no way to describe to you how good that cauliflower was. And don't you just love it when you get a phone call in the middle of shooting a video? I do. I would have had no idea I was eating cauliflower. I mean, this was so good. There are just no words. It was, it was spicy, but it wasn't really very spicy. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit, a uh, hint of it. I don't even, I can't even describe to you what this tastes like. Like you could have this for a whole meal. It was phenomenal. And then we split a, I think it was the Roll Tide Burger. <laughs> They've got all kinds. Oh my gosh, this one had bacon and avocado and um, it, it was huge. And um, it, it was just awesome. So if you ever have a chance to go to a Superhero Chef's, um, I've never tried any but the one in Tuscumbia, but if you are there for any reason, my goodness, just go. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. We did a little shopping around town and went back to our Airbnb. And let me just tell you, this is so highly recommended. Um, I've stayed in Airbnbs all over the place and all over different states, New Jersey, New York, um, you know, Miami. Uh, I can't even remember, but this is by far the nicest Airbnb I've ever stayed at. It's called the Cedars and it's in Florence. So if you are um, going to be up that way for any of the festivals or things that will be coming up this spring, I'm just telling you heads up. If you can go to the Cedars, um, you want to, you want to go. And here is a little look at our room. Such a pretty room. Look at this. Fireplace. Giant cow head. But it's got like a little place for a refrigerator and stuff. In here, coffee pot. So all in all, it is really gorgeous. They also have several other rooms and I think a garage apartment, but the one thing that we did not get to enjoy while we were there is the in-ground pool. Um, of course, it was 20 degrees, so wasn't nobody getting a pool. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I look forward to going back and it's the bed was so comfortable, like everything. They think of everything and the hosts are wonderful, wonderful people. So the next morning we got up and we were looking for breakfast, like a home cooked breakfast. So we ended up going to what I can only describe as this is a true like little hole in the wall dive that has wonderful food. And I've heard their burgers are great, but we were there at breakfast time. So we went to Stag's Groceries. Now it's not a grocery store. It is a restaurant and take a look. Stag's Groceries. Alright. Is it good? <laughs> oh my god. I just noticed that. That is gorgeous. We both had a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, and I'm telling you, it was just like you would make it at home if you can cook. Uh, homemade biscuits, you know, the fried egg, like, it, it was just mm, so good. And again, that wasn't even their specialty. Their burgers and their lunch menu is the specialty. So, if you are out there, this is in Florence also. Um, Florence and Tuscumbia, Muscle Shoals, they're all there together. So, if you are in Florence for breakfast, stop by Stag's. Next, we headed out to the University of North Alabama. Now, what drew us there is that we wanted to see their live mascot, which is a lion. His name is Leo. He has his own beautiful habitat. So, check this out. Okay, so it is way too cold. 
it's pretty anyway. Mm. Not having any pretty in this <laughs> I wish I was inside too. Now, unfortunately, we did not see Leo because it was cold, like freezing cold and rainy. And I am sure Leo was somewhere by a fireplace that we kind of wished we were too. So he wasn't out. I would love to go back and see him this spring. Um, but anyway, check out the beautiful campus. Oh my goodness. It is really pretty though. Look how pretty the buildings are. Architecture is gorgeous. Really, really pretty. I think it was actually an inspiration for Bella, who now thinks that she might want to go to school there. And I'm not opposed. It's only two hours away from me. And uh, I mean, the campus is just phenomenal. Okay, so then after that, we decided to go to a place called Pope's Tavern. Now, Pope's Tavern is reportedly one of the most haunted places in the United States, or at least in Alabama. Anyway, they know of at least 32 people that have died there, and um, I'll show you a little bit of the front porch. It is a, we took the whole tour. If you are interested in, I'll probably do a video just on Pope's Tavern because it is, uh, wow. It's just wow. Wow. Ooh, I love some good coffee. We had also visited a train station, and this is in Tuscumbia, I believe. But when we got there, it was closed. So I just got a little video of the outside. But it is the oldest train station around, too. So you can kind of get an idea. Wow. So, we missed it. It's closed right now, but this is super cool. It's going to be really, really cold tomorrow, so I don't know if we're going to come back or not. But this is an old train depot and museum. It is gorgeous. After Pope's, it was time to have a snack. So, one of the things that was on our list was a cute little place in downtown Florence called Trowbridges. Only about a couple of blocks, I think, from Pope's Tavern. Anyway, Trowbridges is the oldest ice cream shop in Alabama, and it is so cute, and they are well known for a few things. You've been having a wagey. Yeah, that's true. Uh, every time I get it out, it comes back. One of those things is their sandwiches. And I'll just tell you, their the prices are so reasonable. And um, Bella decided to get a grilled cheese and chili sandwich. Now that doesn't mean grilled cheese with a bowl of chili on the side. It is chili inside or on top of your grilled cheese, like in between the bread. And so, <laughs> I decided to get egg salad with olives, which is not something that is usual. So check this out. And then there was their signature dessert that everybody said, you've got to try this. It is called the Oh My Gosh. Okay, so while I was in the bathroom, Bella ordered this with strawberry ice cream over a brownie with caramel sauce. And then it's got a whole load of, you, you saw that, the um, Cool Whip. 
and I was not sure how that flavor combination was going to be. Okay, what kind of ice cream did you get? Strawberry. Ooh, strawberry. And this is the, um, oh my gosh. Yeah. But I know why they call it the oh my gosh, because we started, you know, we started digging into it and literally that was what we just kept saying to each other. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know what they put in that brownie, what they do to that ice cream. I don't, I don't know. I've never tasted anything like it. It was beyond phenomenal. It was one of those things you just don't ever forget. And um, something that I didn't try that they are apparently the most known for is their pineapple orange ice cream, something like that. Anyway, um, I missed out on that one, but I hope to go back this spring for some of the festivals and there are some really cool things up in the area that I didn't see because it was too cold. Like, I'm, but 20 degrees, you should not be outside, no. Yet there we were. So we mostly spent our time just tootling around yeah, the little stores and shops in the downtown area, um, trying to stay indoors and dry as much as we could. But anyway, um, there are so many things to see in the shoals, and I want to go back and do another video. I'm going to try to catch you up on the Belmont and Pope's Tavern as well. So um, if you liked this little catch up, if you liked uh, the little towns in North Alabama, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Bye.